hello, I'm Tanitri O'Connor, and I have an important message for you. You know, we as college students get so busy with our studies and wrapped up with our extracurricular activities that sometimes we don't realize what goes on around us. Today I'd like to talk to you about an important health issue that you should be concerned about. That is HIV and AIDS. Do you know the truth about HIV and AIDS in your community? I interviewed several Barry students, a healthcare professional and Barry College president, Stephen Briggs, to find out people's perspectives on HIV and AIDS. I think one of the main things I've actually heard is over in Africa and um, at my church they've actually went over there and have um, prayed over some of the boundaries and have actually tried to help with awareness. I think that's one of the main things I've heard is their struggle. If it's far away, then it's okay to talk about it, but something that's close to home and amongst peers, it's one of those things that you really don't want to bring up because you don't want to embarrass anybody or you don't want to offend anybody either because I think some people are unaware and uneducated about it, but you don't want to say something that you're wrong about. So I guess I've never really thought about going out of my way to find out about it and um, probably like most students. And, but if it's around you, I think it's more of an issue and then you find it out and it's sometimes learning the hard way. And I think it should be more advertising showing that it's just not a black disease because so many people see Africa and see, oh, that HIV is epidemic there, but they don't realize that it's right here in the United States. To be honest, I, I never really think about it, and I, I, I don't know anybody in person, and it, it's not a big, big issue, I, it, or it never was a big issue for me. Actually, since, since um, a few people came to me and talking about it, because we have this HIV awareness week, of course. So you never thought about getting tested or the possibility of having HIV? Um, yeah, not really. I mean, I, I, I know about it, um, I know how it is, um, how you can be infected and all this stuff, of course, but, um, like coming from Germany, where it's not really, like, spread out that much, like in African countries, for example, um, yeah, it's not really, it was never a big, 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 um, yeah, topic for me. Do you think HIV is a major problem in the U.S.? Um, <laughs> I, I know now that this, the number is much higher than I actually expected, but uh, if you would have asked me a few weeks ago, I would say no, not at all. But I know better now. Yes, we have a significant number of cases here in the, in the Rome community. We have the um, AIDS Resource Council located here in Rome that do, they do counseling and support groups and free testing, and they'll do educational activities to, to come out and get the word out all across the community. The killer of your generation that started in 1981. And at least that's when we first uh, were able to identify it as a disease. And so, from you know, the 25 years, it's, it's killed 25 million people. So, it's something we need to be uh, uh, thoughtful about now. And I think it's your generation that really needs to take the lead. Did you know it is estimated that 40,000 people will become infected with HIV each year, and more than 900,000 AIDS cases? have been reported since 1981, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Today I'm going to take you into the life of an HIV-positive person right here in our local community of Rome, Georgia. But first, let's learn about the disease and distinguish myth from fact. Myth or fact? Lesbians cannot get AIDS. The myth that if you are homosexual, you can't get AIDS. And that's not true. If you're, if you're a lesbian, you can still get AIDS. AIDS is a disease that affects blacks in Africa. HIV AIDS is an international disease. It's not endemic just to Africa. It's all over the globe. HIV doesn't cause AIDS. The truth is, if you don't have HIV, you can't get AIDS. But if you have AIDS, you have HIV. The only way to know is to get tested. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. The virus attacks the immune system soldiers, which are the CD4 cells. When the immune system loses too many of these cells, you are less able to fight off infection and can develop serious opportunistic infections, also called OI. A person is diagnosed with AIDS when he or she has less than 200 CD4 cells 
or one of 21 AIDS defining OIs. HIV is only spread through the following body fluids, blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. The most common ways HIV is passed from one person to another is through the reuse and sharing of needles, unprotected sex, from a mother to a child, during pregnancy and birth, or through breastfeeding. In 2005, the estimated number of persons living with AIDS in the United States was 437,982. In the 50 states and District of Columbia, this included 422,143 adults and adolescents and 3,764 children under the age of 13. According to the Georgia AIDS Coalition, as of April 2006, there are 29,913 AIDS cases in Georgia and 15,169 deaths reported. According to the Rome Health Unit, there are 380 AIDS cases right here in Rome, Georgia. Frank Tant of Rome has been HIV positive for almost 20 years. He's 46 years old and was diagnosed in 1988. Luckily, the virus has not made it to AIDS yet. Tant shares his compelling story of how he contracted the virus and how living with it isn't easy. When my partner at the time was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS, I got tested and found that I was HIV positive. But through, the, through medication and doing what my doctor tells me to do, I've been able to keep myself just HIV positive and still don't have a hooked on AIDS 18 years later. Now, I was not at all shocked. I was a gay man who knew that I had done things in my past that were not considered safe, and I was not at all surprised. He didn't know he had HIV for a long time. So he wasn't doing anything to prevent the disease from, from progressing to AIDS, to AIDS. I was sadly addicted to cocaine for five years. The drugs make you so incredibly sexually hyper that you'll have sex with just about anybody, whether you're protected or not. Okay. I know many people who have contracted AIDS that way. I expected to be dead by the time I was 35, and I'll be 47 next July. Tant visits Northwest Georgia Specialty Care Clinic of Rome frequently. Nurse practitioner Lynn Rawling sees hundreds of HIV and AIDS patients. We opened our clinic in April 2003 in another location. We moved here almost two years ago to this location, double the space. We provide care in the 10 county areas for anyone affected with HIV. We have over 200 patients enrolled in care. HIV. The stigma. Or when you see patients come in, do they talk to you about certain maybe things that they're going through as an HIV patient? Stigma is one of the biggest things. We have transportation barriers, but stigma barriers probably surpass that. It's hard because you know you've got people you should tell, but you're afraid to tell them because you don't know how they'll react. People are so ignorant. They don't know that being around somebody is safe to be around someone with HIV. They think they're going to catch it just from casual contact, and they're not. I have to worry about catching something from other people more than other people have to worry about catching AIDS from me. HIV, are you protecting yourself? I remember when I was a college student, the idea of safe sex never entered my mind. And you have to be safe every time you're going to have sex. You have to wear a condom or don't have sex. And I understand that abstinence is really not going to happen for everyone. I always tell people HIV cannot be cured, but it can be prevented. And it's up to you to prevent it from happening to you. Safe, safe sex. Just be safe. That's the best protection that's out there, is to use barrier methods that are proven, reliable, and safe, and to be consistent and use them every single time. You can protect yourself by taking a few seconds to slide on a condom. It could save your life. Don't know where your partner has been, who he's been with. 
even if you're in a committed relationship, there's no guarantee that your partner hasn't stepped out on you at some point. Men are pigs, you know, you have to keep that in mind too. They'll do whatever it takes to get off. It doesn't matter what it is or who it's with. If they've had enough to drink or smoke or whatever they do for their recreational purposes, that stuff, especially crystal meth, is a big reason why age is on the increase again. And in this area, especially crystal meth, is a major problem. HIV, the take-home message. AIDS does not pay attention to labels or barriers of any kind. AIDS is an equal opportunity uh, virus. It cannot be cured, but it can be prevented if you take the proper precautions. And everyone meets the number one criteria to contract HIV, and that is that you have to be human. And humans make mistakes, but the better you're educated, the less likely you are to make those mistakes. The truth is, it doesn't matter what color you are, you can be at risk for AIDS. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you learned the truth about HIV and AIDS and why you should be concerned about it. It is only through education and communication can we learn and then do something about this deadly disease. I'm Demetria Connor. Good night.